Hello from Charleston. I am so excited right now. I'm in such a good mood. I just got here. First of all, the hotel I'm staying at, Hotel Emmeline. I'll show you the room in a second. They let me check into my room four hours early. I was prepared to just stow my luggage and wander around Charleston for the afternoon to like a check in, but they had a room for me already available. And I'm here to see Clara, everybody's favorite Charleston girl. She's hosting a dinner with Lalo Tequila and Alex from The Defined Dish tonight. And of course I had to come, I dropped everything. I'm here for such a short time, I think it's like 27 hours just overnight, but I'm determined to see as much as Charleston as possible before I leave. And I'm determined to have the best time possible because I've never visited Clara um, here before. I'll actually be back here in two weeks because me, Matt, and Clara are going to High Water Festival together, along with a bunch of her other friends and things. So I will be back in two weekends, but in the meantime, I'm here for 27 hours-ish and I'm determined to have the best time possible. I feel a really good energy brewing inside of me right now. I feel something like the spirit of Holly Bob's is just like, something's brewing. <laughs> but it is currently, currently one o'clock. I just got to my hotel, I just checked in. So I guess they let me check in three hours early. Still, I will show you my hotel room and then I'm just gonna throw on a jacket and wander around Charleston. I'm staying really centrally located downtown and I'm just gonna have a little wander, but I'll show you my hotel room. So I'm staying in the Hotel Emmeline. So you walk in and here's the bathroom. My hair will need to get redone before this dinner tonight for sure. Little travel outfit. Normally I would never wear like real clothes on a flight, but it was only two hours and I knew I would be just like wandering around today. Here's the little cutie bathroom and the little cutie shower. And then you come out here and here's my bag, which I'm not even gonna attempt to unpack. It's just gonna get opened up and picked through. Little cutie floor length mirror, which I will obsess over my dinner outfit for probably 10 times and change a zillion times. And then here's the room. I like the colors. It's very rich luxe coloring. Like you see this super, I don't know how the color's showing up on camera, but this really dark teal green velvet headboard. This like mid-century modern wooden console. Really, really cute. Here's what the view looks like. I don't know what I'm looking at because I've never been to Charleston, but if you are local to this area, I guess you might know what that is. Clara just sent me a list of hotels I might like and I booked the one that had a room available because the like there's tennis in town. There's like the Charleston Open happening right now, I think. And so it was actually kind of hard to get a last minute hotel room. But I'm here and I'm so excited. So I think I'm just gonna do my favorite thing when I visit a new place and just have a little wander around. I had some protein bars for breakfast and then I had a really bad stomach ache on the flight because I ate too soon before the flight. Um, but now the stomach ache is over. <laughs> And now I just, uh, I'd like to have some lunch or something because we're like, we're going to this dinner tonight, but I have learned my lesson when it comes to like brand hosted dinners, sometimes the dinner is secondary to the event because when I, when I think, and I don't know because I haven't gone yet, but I've just a couple of times I've gone to a dinner and there hasn't been enough dinner at the dinner. So I wanna have a really good lunch. This is where I'm staying. Again, you guys, I've never been to Charleston. I don't know anything about Charleston <laughs> except for like what Clara has told me over the years because, okay, so if you're new to my channel, I've known Clara for years because she used to live in Arlington and that's where we met. And she's been talking about Charleston the entire time I've known her. So the only things I know about Charleston are things Clara has said to me over the years, but there's loads of like markets and coffee shops and restaurants nearby. I saw what looked to be a really cute downtown street. I should just Google what's like the Charleston downtown street. Also, my luggage was 32 pounds. Of course, like no one be impressed with me. There's no reason I should have needed to check a bag anyway for literally an overnight flight. But if there's one thing about me, it's like, I'm gonna check a bag. But now that I have like space in my suitcase, I'm like, should I? buy something. I'm flying out tomorrow evening and before then I'm gonna hang out in Charleston with Clara as well so she'll give me more of a tour tomorrow but for right now eight iconic streets to explore in Charleston. Sierra is here as well. We've been mutuals for such a long time we've never met in person so I'm gonna be meeting her. I'm just gonna have a little wander. It doesn't matter if a flight is five hours or five seconds. I always come out of a flight with horrible digestion, stomach aches, and feeling super dehydrated. It does not matter how short the flight is. Okay, so I've got no plan. I've got no itinerary. I need to be at Clara's house at four. So I'll probably wander for two hours, get ready for an hour-ish, and then head over. That's my plan. I actually don't even, I don't even know her fucking address. <laughs> That's such a long distance. I can't sit on the bed because I have airplane clothes on. That's such a long distance friend thing. 
<laughs> I'm in your city and I don't know your address. Not the cutest fit in the world because my hair is a disaster and this jacket doesn't really go. It was just windy outside, but changed my mind. I did switch to a little shoulder bag, but I still have a book with me and I'm not even gonna bother unpacking that. <laughs> Let's go see what all the hype about Charleston is about. So I've stepped out of the hotel and this is the view one direction and this is what's happening the other direction. So I'm just gonna walk down here. I cannot emphasize enough to you guys how little I know about where I am and where I'm going and what there is to do here, genuinely. There's a ton of people walking down here. I think there's like a market or something. So I'm just gonna join. like a market, which was cool, but it was really packed and seemed pretty touristy, so I dipped. I think this is a church. There are so many horse-drawn carriages here, and they're giving tours of the city. I thought we weren't doing that anymore. What's, what's the latest on horse-drawn carriages and like horse-drawn buggy rides in cities? I feel like I've heard a zillion times that they're bad, but are they bad because they're dangerous to the horses? Like, are they bad? because the horses are mistreated or they like, someone someone informed me. I'm pretty sure I've heard that they're bad because the horses tend to be overworked and not given enough rest. Because obviously like draft horses were bred to pull things, but are they like made to pull carriages that are too heavy? Or are they just not given enough rest? Guys, oh my God. Guys, are you seeing this? I am so in awe of how beautiful it is down here. Wow. It's also such nice weather. A little hazardous between the horse-drawn carriages, the cars, and the golf carts. It's a little dangerous out here. Still no update on the food situation. Cute. Very cute. I saw these little marks on the sidewalk. MS loves JP. Well, I saw MS for Mary Skinner. I don't know who JP is. I feel like seeing my initials somewhere is a good sign. Anybody else feel that? Also, I started walking this way because I saw a lot of open space. I need a gimbal. I started walking this way because I saw a lot of open space and I was like, maybe that's the water. I don't know. Let's go see. <laughs> I thought that was gonna be the beach and it wasn't, let down. But walking up here, I just passed a place that said modern southern eatery and I'm gonna go get myself some fucking cornbread. I thought this was a restaurant. I'm gonna go to the rooftop and just see, I guess. I don't know where I am. You guys, I got back to my hotel and there was a package waiting for me at the front desk and it was nothing else besides the iconic Clara Purse welcome basket. If you follow her anywhere, you will have seen that she always makes these welcome baskets full of locally sourced goodies and products whenever she has people come and visit her. And she dropped it off in my hotel room which was so cute, so, so sweet. This is adorable. Matt and I are big granola people, so I'm excited. Although I'm gonna ask if she wants the basket bag. I don't know what the protocol is. Do I keep the basket? We have this maple tahini granola, this candle, the library at Candlefish, made in Charleston, South Carolina, and then a body butter. What does this one say? I don't know what's wrong with my autofocus, and I know you guys keep commenting on it. I'm genuinely so sorry. I might have to get a new camera. Um, but this body butter, seaweed and sea salt, by the old whaling coat, Charleston, South Carolina. I just think that's so special. And when I have people start to visit me in Scotland, because no one visits me <laughs> in Arlington, but when people visit me in Scotland, I'm gonna take a page out of Clara's book and do this, because it's so cool. I've been walking around for a couple hours. I'm gonna quickly take a shower and get ready. Ooh, horrendous lighting. This is what we have though. I did pick up a little pistachio rose matcha latte from the downstairs coffee shop. And just this little pick me up. I don't know how long tonight is gonna be. So I just thought I need, would need a little pick me up. One thing about me is I'm gonna put on the hotel bathrobe and I'm sitting cross-legged right now. So my whole coochie's out. I'm just gonna quickly, I did a body shower. I didn't touch my face. I don't like that. Planes are very gross. And as someone with OCD, 
it's tough, but I've really been working on like desensitization and exposure therapy. And yeah, I've just done a little body shower and I'm gonna put on the easiest eye look in the entire world. Just like a little brown shadow on my eyelid. Super, super easy. I don't even think I brought the brush that I used to do a little wing. I tend to prefer super minimal eye looks on myself because I feel like colors around my eyes make them look tiny and I just don't like the way it looks on me anymore. Although when I was younger and in my little like emo phase, I was wearing smoky eyes to go to the grocery store, like smoky eyes for genuinely no reason. I'm gonna wait to do my lips until just before I go. Oh my God, it's 3.30! I've got to hurry. Okay, so this is a dress option. It's like this white sweater dress. I've had it for a long time. It's from Princess Polly. Um. I feel like this is not giving fun enough. I feel like, especially because it's longer, I don't feel like it's giving fun dinner. It is really cute. I would like an opportunity to wear it, but I just don't, I feel like it isn't right. So I'm gonna do my yellow floral house of CB dress. Hello, queen of the night. Cocktails with Claire. Cocktails with Claire. Do you still do that series? No, bring it back though. Bring, bring it back. back. I was looking also, at, this is so Hello. Funny. Cheers, cheers, cheers. Yay. Cute. cute. Girlies. So everyone else just left to go to the venue, but I have to run back to the hotel to get something. So I called a different Uber, but Clara obviously had to lock up. So I'm just sitting alone on her porch, drinking a Paloma, waiting for my Uber. A Clara purse special with the flowers and the lime and the grapefruit. Gorge, the sun has come out, it's beautiful weather. Me, every time I visit somewhere new, just thinking like, should I extend my visit? Should I move here? <laughs> At the dinner. This is beautiful. I think this is called the Parsonage in Charleston. It was very close to my hotel. I'm drinking a pet a petal pusher with Lala tequila. Of course. Woo -hoo! That's strong. It's giving garden party. It's so cute. I'm so proud of Clara. And I met Sierra. Hello. How long have we been neutrals? Really? I feel like years. A long time. Like, like years. Like years. This is our first time meeting in person. Actually our first time. Look at us. Look at us. So fun. Here we are. Oh, why do I feel so awkward? I'm like, <laughs> I've never been on camera in my life. <laughs> but I see it, and it's not my camera. My camera, I feel great. Did it just go down your dress? Yeah, it did. There's a little pomegranate seed down there. Oh, there you go, a little taste. In front of my own camera, I feel great. I feel like it's different on YouTube too, because you have to keep talking. You have to keep talking. Like a TikTok, TikTok, a TikTok vlog, you kind of like decide, okay, I'm gonna film this 15 seconds. I know exactly. what I'm gonna say. Exactly. And here we just like you have to just. And now here we you are. have to just chat. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. I'm making Sierra and Alex come visit me when I move. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Yeah, here. No, we're gonna do a trip. Yeah, we're gonna do a full on Scotland trip. And it's mm. gonna be beautiful. I can't wait to see everything. And we love Clara. And we love Clara. And we love Lalo Tequila. Cheers to Clara and cheers <laughs> to Lalo Tequila. <laughs> and define dish dinner party gift bag unboxing. Gorgeous little tote. We have a dinner tonight define dish cookbook. Mine signed. Mine is signed. She was here. You could have asked her to sign them. She did? She wrote a little note on all my books. That is so cute. Say hi to the vlog. The vlog's on. I got a sign. I'm like, I want to get in. Come on the other side. I'm like, guys, this is Clara's name on it, it's so cute. Well, not this, but. Okay, next up, we have the. It's like a hefty box. <laughs> it's a hefty box. <laughs> yeah. Cocktails with Clara. Oh my god, you have to bring the series back. It's official. Presented by Lala Tequila. Is it cool to see your name on something like that? Yeah. Because my, my name's so unique that whenever I see it anywhere, it like stops me in my tracks. I. You know how much. <laughs> No, special. <laughs> no, 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 no. You know how like random boutiques will like name like a, a dress or the something Clara. after the like Clara. a name. I'm like, oh, oh should I buy it? Like, <laughs> oh, delete it, delete it. Sunlight <laughs> tomato pesto and mint pasta. Cut, cut, cut. 
I was taking no, pictures I'm gonna, of the menu because it said like cocktails curated by Clara Purse, and I was like, <sighs> well, I if I had known that that was the book that was gonna be in here, I would like I'm also do this for you guys. I'll text you like my favorite page numbers for you guys to start with. Will you sign wait. it? Yeah, will you send my copy? <laughs> Ooh. Oh my god, that's my handwriting. Okay, that's really I'm good. so glad you could join us for tonight's dinner. The next round of drinks is on me. Well, at least the recipe is smiley face. Is that cute? I thought that was That's cute. Really yeah, cute. I love that. Kiss kiss. The mm. autofocus on my camera is broken because I dropped it over Christmas and now it's fucked, but it's a thousand dollars for a new G7X. So I'm like No, it's fucked. The price of a G7X. It is disgusting. And they're sold out everywhere if you swim it now. Because I Um so one. then we have oh my god, this is cute. These are the glasses we were drinking out of at dinner. It says, Can you fix the autofocus for me? <laughs> <laughs> Lalo to get it because you haven't done enough work tonight. No, I have it. It's on the clock. And then we have a bottle of Lalo tequila. That's which gold. I took a shot of, as you guys will have seen. And the guy, what was his name? Jim. He was making a lovely speech, and he was like, "You'll be able to taste the notes of agave and mm -hmm. everything." And I was—it's honestly one of the first times because I feel like with a lot of wine tastings and liquor tastings, especially it's like a younger person that hasn't had like a super developed palate with that stuff. Mm -hmm. You just you hear what people are saying like, about yes, it, agave. and you're like, "Yes, no, yes. I agreed." I was like, "Yeah, I was yeah, like, sure. yeah, I totally it's taste really the good stuff. Like it really is." So we've got tequila. We've got palm. This is your signature. If you've ever been to Clara's and she's made you a drink. The palm is coming out. And then, what is this? Simple syrup? I think that's agave. Oh, agave. Oh, sticky. Pomegranate. Oh, pomegranate, pomegranate seeds. seeds. Yep. Pomegranate seeds and a lime. Is that the little dirty hands? My autofocus is fucked <laughs> up. <laughs> Stop. You know how people say like it's so annoying when influencers put the please, hand up. It is only for the it. autofocus. Please keep it. It's not. It's not trying to be an annoying influencer thing. It's for the no, autofocus. Believe, yeah. No, but here's the Mary didn't do a good job. But oh. <laughs> no. This is my channel. Here's the recipe. It's really so easy. disrespect me on my channel. Like your own YouTube. You channel. could use any tequila, but this stuff like actually is insane. It's so good. It was good. Really good. All the drinks tonight were really nice. Do the nice. store locator and see if it's in a store near you. I have seen it as like a social media brand Very that I was true. like oh it's probably not sold near me and then I did the store locator and it is so oh, yeah. that's so mm -hmm. nice the I think I just think it's so cool like I want to keep the little cocktails with Claire well I should have worn so your cute. necklace I have your necklace it's literally your night why are you even saying <laughs> restock happening in April <laughs> <laughs> all right Mary's yeah. cut off um Stop. I want to keep this because it says cocktails with Clara and that's so cool I want to frame that, that is this is a good gift basket. I'm gonna add a little sparkling. Gorgeous, amazing. Is this the recipe from the? Yeah, but then I'm freestyling. Okay. Okay. Got a garnish. Oh my god, the way that you're garnish. It's like 11 p.m. and she's still doing a garnish. Got a garnish. You. That's gorgeous. You need the garnish. I just ate the rest of the grapefruit that you had cut up from earlier. That's where it went. Yeah. Like I had, no. Then I would have made like a the morning ketchup. The morning Taylor. ketchup. Taylor, 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 Taylor. Taylor, Taylor. Taylor. Clara started. Tara, who is that? Clara started Taylor. doing this thing last night that you've never done before, and now we've done it like 20 times. Taylor, before you drop some tea, you gotta, <laughs> woo, woo. You gotta, you gotta alert everyone. <laughs> no, I love it. Oh, should I do it? Taylor, Taylor. You have to like really put your body into it. <laughs> Back at Clara's, Clara Purse, messy, exposed. The JS Health are in there, and then the other, like oh, the other cool. ones in there are the Love Wellness ones. Perfect, I just thank you. I just started trying Love Wellness. I do really like them. I love them. Their fiber is really good. Well, I got their fiber because you like their fiber. They have, um, they came out with like a oil and a massage oil. I saw like that. Massage at home that I need to learn how to like actually do. Have you ever gotten one of those tox I've massages? The they're real, well, they're intense. They kind of yeah. hurt. Like there's yeah, a yeah, tox yeah. in Georgetown. It hurts, but then you do feel just like kind of like glowy afterwards. Have like you your skin those feels glowy. Like you're lying on the bed and they're like massaging yes. your stomach. It's, like it's rough. Like yeah. they get rough with you. I don't but, really like that. I don't even like like. Rough massages. Yeah. How yeah. are you already like very gentle? I just checked out of the hotel. We're trying to find Clara's car because she left it here. Like she drove to the event last night, but then left it yeah, here and Ubered home. Yeah, parked for me. <laughs> and like it hasn't been communicated well. And we don't know where it is. Hi. So Hello. So 
so cute. So we're kind of having a nice walk though. Oh yeah, okay, so then it has to be on this street. I think we're just gonna shop. We're just kind of like mosey around. We might be going to a tow yard. <laughs> I have three hours till I need to leave for the airport. And the only thing I said was I, I kind of am in a shoppy mood. Oh, we can shop for sure. Or, or just like sitting outside somewhere because the weather's so nice. Like this is a... I hear it. Oh. Maybe it's around the corner. Yeah. Do you have to have a special license? So is there any regulation on these at all? You're I have to leave for the airport in a couple hours, but I wanted to do a little bit of shopping first. Even if I don't buy anything, I feel like shopping on a main street is such a fun way to like just get to know the area more. Oh.